So I spent a few months with the Lenovo Legion Pro 5, but if you've watched my channel long, you know I've spent a few years with the Lenovo Legion 5. I have the 2021, 2022, and the 2023 model before me. I'm gonna do a full like triple comparison video pretty soon on the channel, so keep an eye on that. But for now, we're gonna talk about some things that I like, some things that I don't like too much about this model, and then hopefully we'll be able to help you make a purchasing decision. Also, if you wanna compare the Intel versus the Ryzen version, I've made a video about that. But this video is gonna be specifically about the Ryzen version. Now, first and foremost, one thing I love about the Pro Series versus the other ones in the Legion lineup right now is this keyboard. I love the tactile feel of the keyboard. The keys actually have kind of a soft touch feel compared to something like the Slim 5 from Legion, which has those silver, kind of more plasticky feeling keys. This just feels more premium. The Pro Series definitely has a more premium feel. We have the numpad on the right side, full-size arrow keys, full-size shift keys. You have all of your function keys along the top of the keyboard deck as it should be. Of course, you have function Q to go ahead and swipe through your different fan modes, which is really nice when you're trying to control the noise. Let's say you're in a classroom, you're in a quiet office, or you're in a coffee shop, and you want to keep that noise down. This keyboard is also great for that as well, because it's not too loud. It's very quiet. Now, the trackpad is a little on the clicky side, but I love the feel of the trackpad. It's secured nicely to the chassis, strong, good quality trackpad. However, for me, it's still too small. I've complained about this for the past three years and they still have given a small trackpad when they have plenty of room and Lenovo makes larger trackpads on some of their other laptops. So yes, I will keep complaining about that until hopefully one day it gets bigger. Um, now, one thing that I really like on this laptop is the webcam and we've seen different webcams ebb and flow from different Lenovo laptops. This to me is one of the more decent ones I wouldn't say it's the best, but it is pretty good. Here's a sample of the webcam for you. This is the webcam on the Lenovo Legion Pro 5 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Ben G Kaiser to try a two week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link in the video description. Now, one thing that I wish they did have was better speakers. The speakers are on the bottom of the chassis kind of spitting out of the side. So they're one of the more better bottom facing speakers, but they're not great. Here's an audio sample so you can hear what they sound like. Now the connectivity on the other hand is something that's really great. We have a network port, USB type C, HDMI, two USB type A's, as well as a USB type C, USB type A on the left side panel, as well as a USB type A on the right side panel, manual cutoff switch for the webcam and a headphone jack. This thing goes port crazy. So I definitely like the ports and connectivity on this laptop. Now, one thing is that this laptop is mostly plastic in regards to the build materials. However, one thing that makes me really happy about it is they no longer have it where the bottom cover is attached to the back vents and the port covers. So on previous models, you literally had to take off this entire back section of the laptop. You can see here. And that all had to come off to take the bottom cover off. And it was very scary. And I say that like seriously, because I was always afraid I was going to break the laptop because there's so much coming off where now you just take these screws out and the bottom cover pulls off without that back panel it pulls off very nicely. And you have two Ram sticks and two M.2 slots available for upgrade. One comes occupied, one comes unoccupied. And of course, both Ram sticks are occupied. The model I have before me has 16 gigs of Ram. Now the weight and thickness is something that this laptop is honestly pretty impressive on because when you look at the Slim 5, 
it has nearly the same weight and thickness and they're calling that a slim laptop. So either this laptop has a great form factor and is fairly thin and light or they don't know what they're talking about when they made their slim series because it's not so thin and it's not so light. So definitely for being the pro series lineup from Legion, this is a great uh, carry around. It's not too crazy thick or crazy heavy. It's a, it's a nice laptop to carry around. Now keep in mind, one thing that this laptop doesn't do super well is the battery life. So if you're gonna wanna get better battery life, I would go for Ryzen in the Pro Series. You're gonna get about an hour more of battery life. You can see the battery life results coming up on the screen. When it comes to the battery life results you're seeing on the screen, I set the computer to 60 Hertz refresh rate, 20% screen brightness, Windows battery saver mode, quiet slash silent mode in the Lenovo Vantage Center, as well as turning off the dedicated GPU so I'm only running on the integrated graphics. And so by choosing Ryzen, you're getting better battery life. If you go and you choose the Intel version, um, you're not gonna get as good of battery life. Just keep that in mind. And at some point in this video, if I've said, uh, if I've said Lenovo Legion Pro 5i, I apologize. I'm talking about the 5 Pro. Um, it's just, there's the naming is so close and my mind stumbles from time to time. So please forgive me if I've said Pro 5i at any point in this review. Now the screen on this laptop is definitely something that stands out to me as a great addition. And especially at the price point, we have 100% sRGB, 80% Adobe RGB and 80% DCI-P3, all at a Delta E of 0.73. So great screen brightness, great color gamut range, great color accuracy, while also having solid battery life. Now the one thing that makes this laptop really stand out and for as performance is concerned is we have the Ryzen 7 7745HX series processor as well as the RTX 4070 GPU. And going ahead and taking a look at the benchmark results, you can see that for Photoshop, we score a 1,102. So a fantastic score in Photoshop. And especially, like I said, at this price point, this laptop is not priced above $2,000. It's well below $2,000. Usually finding it, you know, whether either on sale or full price around this $1,700 to maybe $1,900 price point range, depending on how you have it configured. And so for the performance, it has a excellent price point. Now next is gonna be looking at After Effects and After Effects scores a fantastic score as well at a 923. And looking at Blender Classroom, we have a 1,081. This is right behind some of those RTX 4080 series laptops that are well into the $3,000 price point. So for the performance, for the price point, this laptop is just so good. Next, we're taking a look at Autodesk 3DS Max, Autodesk Maya, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks. And for all of these programs, this is gonna be one of my top picks right now on the market. Like I said, priced performance and build quality, as well as a great screen. It just offers so much in such a consolidated package and at a great price point. That's what I'm really gonna emphasize in this, you know, a few months later, is that this laptop, as more have been coming out throughout the year, because I feel like we've had a lag in production this year, um, it still stands out as one of the best picks for 2023. Now, one area where the Pro 5 with the Ryzen processor beat out the Pro 5i with my beloved Intel processor was in 4K video editing. You can see it scored a two minute and 26 second export time for 4K. However, for 6K video editing, Intel took the crown and it's 17 minutes and 21 seconds for the Ryzen processor and 12 minutes and 26 seconds for the Intel processor. So if you are a 6K video editor and you wanna have faster export times, I recommend going for Intel over Ryzen. But if you want better battery life, like I said earlier in the video, Ryzen is the way to go. However, in regards to playback, you're gonna have less drop frames from the Ryzen processor with the RTX 4070. Keep in mind, again, the laptop that I reviewed with the Intel processor had a 4060. This laptop has a 4070, and so you're gonna get a little bit better playback out of that 4070 GPU. But it's pretty crazy to think that an Intel processor with a 4060 can get a better export time than a Ryzen processor with a 4070. So just, you know, put that in your info box. I'm not gonna continue to dive in between the differences between two laptops because I have a full head-to-head -head review covering those differences. But as far as the Ryzen version of the Legion Pro 5 is concerned, it is a fantastic buy still heading into this year as more models have come out. Great display, a light, fairly thin laptop for the performance that it houses with that RTX 4070. Amazing for 3D modeling, great for video editing, 
fantastic for Photoshop and the other Adobe Creative Suite apps. And you have all of this with a fantastic keyboard that's comfortable to use and a trackpad that feels solid under your finger. So punch for punch, this is still going to be one of my favorite picks for 2023. Please use the links in the description below if you're gonna make a purchase, it definitely helps out the channel. And of course, click or tap the screen here if you want more videos to help you with your purchasing decision. I'll see you here in the next one.